Hello, this is Mr. Britton from Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. This is part three of my quick slot tutorial. If you notice, I have three, four slots down here, and I'm working on number three. This is a shield. So if I press the number three, a shield comes up for two seconds, and the shield will block all incoming attacks by the monsters. But it also uses some energy up. So my first two slots, my first, uh, if I collect an orange potion, notice that I have two in my quick slot, I can use those to regain health. My blue potions, which I have two now, if I press the two, it'll increase my energy uh, uh, up. So if I press the shield and I get attacked, notice that the attacks do no damage. Now they're damaging me, so I better increase my uh, energy and put a shield on there it, it stopped all those attacks uh oh better put another shield on it stopped them so anyway that's how you can do that so it gives you a little bit of uh, using a little more skill in your game so let's show you how I did this so the first thing it is I created a, sh a shield sprite and I made this sprite 48 by 48 and I didn't animate it. Don't animate it this time. Just make it a single sprite image. Uh, we'd have to do some different things uh, if we want it to be animated. So just a single sprite image. I also centered it at 24 by 24. I also had to make a quick slot uh, sprite. So I duplicated uh, that sprite and shrunk it down to 32 by 32 so I could draw it with my uh, quick slot controller. And I talked about that previously, how I did that. Now, let's show you how this works. So I'm going to go to the boy object. And what I had to do, first of all, is I had to set up a variable. So in the create event, I set a variable called shield and give it a value of 0. So what that does, if shield is 0, that means the shield is off. So to turn the shield on, I'm pressing the 3 key. So I added a key press 3. Now what it has to do, it has to check whether or not you have enough energy to use the shield because I use energy to, uh, a lot of people call it mana in some games, but I'm just going to call it energy. So it's going to cost me 10 energy each time I use a shield. So I first of all I test whether or not I have enough energy, so I say is the boy's energy larger than 9? If it is, it will go through this routine. So the first thing it does is it subtracts 10 from your boy's energy and make sure you check relative so it subtracts 10 from it. Then it sets your shield to 1 so now it's active and it also sets alarm 0 to 60 steps and 60 is 2 seconds. Okay. Now let's see what happens when the alarm goes off. So I add an alarm 0 event and all it does is it sets the variable shield back to 0 and that will basically turn it off. So, how did I draw the shield? Well, that's done in the draw event. So I go to the draw event, and I added this routine right here to draw the shield. First of all, it checks whether or not shield is active, whether it's on. So if the value of shield is equal to 1, then it'll do this routine. It'll simply draw the sprite for your shield relative to your character's position. Now I put in 16 and 16 because that's how I get it centered on my boy object. Otherwise, it'll be drawn uh, up in the top left-hand corner of the sprite. So I just added 16 to each of those, and that'll make it centered. And um, uh, that's basically how we do the, uh, uh, the shield effect. Uh, the other thing you had to do was so that it, the shield actually did something and blocked the incoming attacks is we had to add, add this to the collision event with the bone. So if your bone collides with your boy, we added a test variable. So we added a test variable for your shield. So if shield is equal to 1, which means it's on, it will simply exit the event and it will never decrease your hit points and um, yeah, you basically are immune to the attacks of the bone at this time. So. Uh, thank you. I'm going to talk about sh slot number four, which is going to be an attack slot, uh, kind of a super attack. And if you have more, uh, uh, more tutorials, be sure to check out my webpage. Thank you very much.